How's it going everybody? This is Andy back again and welcome to the 200 subscriber Q&A that I promised you guys. I wrote on the Facebook page uh, a little post and I said comment underneath what you guys want to see me answer in this Q&A and you guys didn't disappoint. I got quite a few good questions. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into them. Michelle asks, what other things do you enjoy doing? Um, other than doing the whole YouTube, Facebook live streaming content sort of thing, I run a little company sort of thing on the side. We're called Swan Song Visuals. We do like video content and stuff like that. And I've realised just I've just said like like fourteen hundred times. I play guitar quite a bit. I have three of them. They're all up there. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Mazen asks, why did I start doing this, and how do I feel about the success on Facebook and YouTube? Now, I started doing this originally because, you know, it's a really long story. Uh, in October last year, I went for an interview at Goal.com, which are the guys who actually own Rage Quit FC. I've just ended up being the face of it. Um, it was to do the media coverage for the French League, which I was, I was amazed by the fact that I actually got an interview for it. Um, and like six months down, like I said, I didn't get the job as it was. But six months down the line, I got a phone call and it was for me to head up this whole gaming content sort of thing. And um, of course, I bit the hand off straight away. Like, it means I get to play FIFA every day. I get to speak to you guys all the time. And it makes it so I can sit in my room and do something I enjoy for, with that thing. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how I started. And I wouldn't say I've had that much success, I'll be honest. Like, the Facebook page has got like 18,000 followers and 15,000 likes, but I want every single person on that Facebook page to jump across to the YouTube page and subscribe over there as well. So it's sort of backwards. I'm trying to get everyone from Facebook to YouTube where most people go YouTube to Facebook. It's kind of weird. But yeah, that's that's how I got started. Dyron asks, when did I first start playing FIFA? Um, I started playing FIFA on FIFA 09. I was 13, I think, like 13 years old. Um, I was one of the first people on the like in the whole world of FIFA to start playing Ultimate Team, which is why on my Ultimate Team, when you guys see it, it says Foot Founder in the little box. A lot of people sort of waited and went, mm, I don't really see the point, because originally you had to pay for Ultimate Team. So yeah, that's when I started playing FIFA, like FIFA 09. Abdullah asks, what is the thing I hate most about FIFA? Now, there's quite a few things that I hate about FIFA, I'll be honest, there's things that make my blood boil. But the thing that annoys me most about it is the matchmaking system, because you can go into a game with like a regular bronze team or something and it'll put you in a team on ultimate team against the team on ultimate team where you're against like a full informed team or whatever that doesn't sit well with me i don't understand why it does it like ea needs to get the shit together ea get your shit together now john asks who was the best player i've played with on fifa now realistically it's down to who i've enjoyed to use the most and that would be omar al sommer i've gone i've gone on about him in multiple in multiple streams and I had his 84 in form card, and by far that is the best striker I've ever used on any FIFA. Like, he's up there with Wellerton and Doombia from FIFA 13, I'll be honest. If you guys want to go and pick him up, I would do. I'll do the squad builder challenge or something. Ryan asks, who my favourite musician slash band is, I guess. And my favourite band is a band called Bring Me The Horizon. They're from a place called Sheffield. I've seen them live twice. The reason that I like them so much is because they helped me through a rough patch in my life. Like, go and listen to That's The Spirit as an album. It's a brilliant album, and... Yeah, just head over and do it. Now, last but not least, Connor asks, if Rangers or Barcelona were looking for me as a person to play for them, who would I play for? Now, realistically, I like England. Like, I like staying where I am. And if I played for Rangers, I could do that. But it'd mean I get to play for Barcelona. Like, that's like a once-in-a-lifetime sort of thing. So I, I think I'd have to choose Barcelona. Sorry, Connor. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please make sure you smash the like button, subscribe as well, share the video to all your friends. Comment down below if there's anything you'd like me to change. My Twitter feed's just here. My Instagram's in the description and my Snapchat's just on the side. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.